Okay, greetings and welcome. Today I will be walking you through um, the beginning of the 37 forms, the short form. Um, now, anyone can look at a form off of YouTube and try to copy the external movements, the outside, but there are specific qualities of uh, what you do inside the body and what you do with the mind um, that you would get from a traditional teacher that would make it or break it. Um, if you just tried to do the short form, like a lot of people do, but they don't have anything inside of it, it's not um, full of uh, Peng Jin, it's not full of vitality, and there's a certain frequency of feeling, and you're not connected uh, physically, your, your alignment isn't correct, so you can't get the, the pumping of uh, the hydraulic fluids up and down the body uh, correctly. It's like your um, the inside of your car transmission is all messed up. Um, you're not going to be able to run the race. You're not going to be able to run the form um, as it was designed. And this is like an upgraded software from um, a lot of the you know the the from what I've seen at least the uh, the Wang uh, form Wang Shengshen. Um, so so. Uh, Wang Shengshen um, studied with uh, master, the professor Cheng Hanqing, who studied with uh, Yang Chengfu, the, the Yang family. And this 37 form is, um, it's got a lot of special stuff in it. It's not a, um, a long form that was, uh, you know, the long form is designed kind of to do uh, at least for uh, Yang Chengfu for the public. This is um, the short form. It's shorter, there's less moves, but there's more in it. Um, it's kind of like, uh, kind of, uh, there's some hidden stuff in there and uh, special stuff. So it's no joke. Um, the, the saying is that, um, Chang Man Ching, um, his teacher, uh, Yang Chung Fu, you know, did a lot of work with him. Um, I think for a long time, you know, months, probably years to, to get him to the point where, um, he could start to do the form. A lot of standing, a lot of this stuff that we're doing in class. I, I'm, I'm not joking. I'm like, we, we got to get you guys up to the point where you, you ha your, your bodies are open and, um, you know, we do the, the Kaiman, the opening exercises, the Song Gongs to, to get you to the point where you're sung and released enough and melted enough so that the, um, your mind is really relaxed. Your body's really relaxed to the point where you can start to get real benefit, long-term benefit from the form. And it's um, being lost in America. Everything's being appropriated. Everything's like instant fix. Uh, give it to me now um, without understanding the value of building something really, really uh, nice and um, that has long-term value, like a, a nice house or a nice car or something. This is learning how to build it yourself, learning how to fix it and take care of it yourself. So um, to me, this is something pretty special. So. That's going to be part one, and I can, uh, I'll timestamp it so you can just skip to the form. <clears throat> so, so um, for most of the people in the class, we haven't even gotten to this B position standing pot posture, which is the beginning position. Now, if you notice, um, for those of you that, that have gotten this in class, um, I have an experiment that you do with this one posture, and you do it in a swimming pool, and you see what happens. Now... Uh, the law of, laws of physics say that um, with this uh, mass and density and uh, how compact it is, and the bones and the flesh and everything, bones stay upright, soft tissue and everything else inside is melting down. What happens when you do this in water, in like a swimming pool or in the ocean? So the correct answer that you need to find out by yourself is that you sink. So this is the beginning of sinking and grounding. So if you have time, um, the, the standing posture, you would set a timer for five minutes every day. <clears throat> and these are one of the standing postures that you do to experience the sinking of the chi. So you would work on the, the posture that we work on class, five minutes every day, sinking the chi in the, uh, the, the neutral position, this uh, tiny horse, right? Okay. And then you would move to, the, to, to this posture and experience even more sinking of the chi. Then you would practice 
Um, the one, like as uh, Chen Man Ching said to do every day, five minutes, raise hands, single leg posture, all the weights on the back, and you're sinking down this leg. This, this leg you don't do anything with, you just leave it as a placeholder, and then you sink the chi this way, uh, using the fire element uh, method that I've given you in class. And then there are more postures too. So, um, so this is a, kind of an abbreviated uh, forms class, abbreviated short form, and we're only going to do the first part. So we start in a reposition, okay, and we want to um, to basically sink into the right leg. So like ah, sink vertically, and sink all the way into the right leg. And we're going to release the hip. We're going to melt the right hip all the way, and that's going to cause this hip to turn in. So what happens if, if, um, if I had a partner here and I just tried to turn it this way, I would be going right and someone could push me this way. And you need to have a partner actually kind of test this out. This is why you come to class. So we can see if we're actually melting and sinking correctly. So even within this first posture, there's a lot of exercises, a lot of drills, a lot going on. Okay. It's probably, and there's, there's all these testing drills that you do with a partner to test if you're doing this one posture correctly. If you don't do this posture correctly, it's going to set the rest of the form so it, it fails. These are why teachers like don't, good teachers don't give out forms immediately. There's a lot um, of foundational work to go into it. So if I do it correctly and I sink and I melt into the right leg, it turns by itself because you're sinking so much down into that foot, down into the earth. And if someone tried to push me, I'd be completely sung and round and the chi would fill to round up to the shoulder. So if someone tried to push me, I'd be grounded weighed in this leg and this shoulder, so if someone pushed me on the shoulder, would be connected to the ground to this right leg. If I just tried to turn this way with the hip and I wasn't grounded and melted into that foot, they pushed me, there's no connection to the earth um, and my center's floating. They just have to push the chest and the chest goes this way. Okay? So you need to have a partner test it out. If you're really sung and melted and the chi fills the root and the foot, what happens is that physical physics-based principle of melting and sinking and starts to fill the body and what happens is it's like compressing a balloon and you try to press into the balloon and you just pop off because it's round. So this is the beginning of what they call shape in Tai Chi. They have round and then a triangle and square. And we're building that shape, that multidimensionality, three-dimensionally and beyond, into the form. So you're sinking into the right leg. And if you come to class, we can do posture testing. Somebody pushes from the back but it feels like you're a round ball and they bounce off because the pressure is going to your foot and rebounding out the back, rebounding out the front, rebounding out the sides. So this is just the first posture, right? We haven't even gotten into the other 36 forms yet. So you can see how, um, you know, uh, deep this is. So, okay. Then you take a step out to the left on a straight line. I'd recommend, Standing, actually standing on a straight line, and if you come to class, you know, there's, there's all these beautiful straight lines. And your left leg should line up right in front, right in front. And then we're weighted, we're still weighted. This is actually empty, right? And then we're going to pump up on a vertical line and bring it over so that our hip, where the center is now in our core, or dantian, and we're going to sink the core down into the feet. So you need to pra practice that nine times. Sink into the right leg, oh, melt all the way. Melt the dantian down into the feet. Then melt everything else just down into the feet. Then you're going to, you're fully weighted in the right foot. You're going to step out. Left leg is, foot is pointed straight forward. You're going to pump up off the right leg or a vertical line and settle in the dantian, the core. And then you're going to melt the core down into the feet. So you got your arms all loose like a monkey, a gorilla, and your your root just settled from the hips, the earth uh, the earth portion of the body from the hips down to the feet. 
You're gonna melt down in the feet, and then you're going to start the second, uh, second part, which is called commencement. So we got B position, and then commencement. So we're going to, all that pressure is built up in the feet, and we're gonna release the pressure like in a wave from the feet out the back, and we're just gonna press down the ball. So let's practice that. And come up to about solar plexus or chest height. So we're gonna compress the feet, and feel that pressure build, and we're gonna release, not by coming up, but just release the pressure inside the body. And that pressure we want, like a coffee press, really smooth and even. Down the body. So practice that nine times. Let the pressure build in the feet, keeping the crown suspended from above, and sitting on a bar stool. Release the pressure up the body, out the shoulders, out the hands, come up to about here. Like you're kind of like floating in the water. We're just going to uh, release the ball down the water, down to the feet again. Okay, one more time. Building the feet, release the pressure up, up to the solar plexus, up the shoulders, out the hands, and then just your ball is right here in the water, and you're just going to uh, melt and release down. Okay. Okay. Next posture. So I'm going to take a little, if you see this, I'm going to turn this in a little bit and melt this in again, same principle, you know, melt into that right foot and this, this turns in and then right here, just ward off, right? I'm going to come up. You just gonna have to copy it or come to class to, to get the correction. Make an adjustment if you need to, so that this is straight, straight line. Boom. This is subtle, so now we're both like 50-50. Okay, and then we're gonna pump up off this leg with a little bit more weight in this leg. So you go, boom. So we've got a pressure differential, ah, and then pump up. Okay, so we're single weighted in the right leg. Take a step out. This is ward off left. A split, settle 50-50. This is ward off, ward off left. Make an adjustment if you need to. Just like on the class, okay? And you're gonna turn in slightly. And so the pressure goes to this leg, look up here, and then got one off right. Okay? So stop here. This is a high word off right. You need to stop here, pause it, rewind, learn that section. Come back. Okay, settled here. We're gonna turn, so we're settled here in our uh, bow and arrow stance, 50-50, okay. High word off right, and then we're gonna roll over, we're gonna sink, sink the Dantian into our right foot, and it rolls over, rolls over the hip. And then we're going to settle in the front foot. We're going to pump up off. And this is just going to kind of, if we're pushing someone's shoulder right here, the right shoulder, we're just going to kind of turn their shoulder a little bit. Pump up off. And then we're going to draw the bow. Okay. All the qualities from building the wall we're working on. Filling, filling the vitality, feeling the vitality, and then filling the body like a balloon. And that slow hydraulic molasses thick feeling. This is our press, right? G, and then we're gonna roll over the ball. Nice and thick, hydraulic. Okay, I'm gonna settle into the hip, settle into the feet. We're gonna pump up from the feet internally. Uh, press, those are on, okay? And then get a little bit of a stretch here, like a power stretch, and then we're gonna, uh, we're gonna melt the hip melt the hips into the, the left foot, and you can kind of drag this down, release it down, like releasing the ball, okay? But instead of that far down to the hips, we're just gonna keep the, the elbows and the hips aligned, make it a little bit smaller, and then melt the Dantian feet, and we're gonna keep it here, solar plexus, here, okay? So it's a little bit compact, that's fine, as long as the elbows and the hips are square, kind of matched up with each other, and we're here. Then 
what's going to happen is these are going to drop to this foot and this foot's going to turn. So now we're pointed this way. This is uh, kind of the classical, classical way of doing things. And we're going to draw another bow from this foot up here. And this hand's just going to kind of, kind of follow along with the pendulum. Okay, so this is going to draw from this foot up here. Drawing the bow over here. This one naturally follows along. This foot is going to kind of sweep up this foot, just like in kind of V position. Then we're going to take a step out. And here's our single whip that I promised you. Okay. So we turn on this ankle, we turn the dantian, turn from the core, turn from the center. Okay. And then we're going to melt our hips down into the feet, melt the water portion down through the earth portion of the body. Okay. So this is where we're going to end. I'll give you one more posture to work on. So, okay. So this is like a, um, what they call like a, a chop, right? So I'll do it from this position so you can see. And then this is called a beak hand. So these three and then these meet. Okay, just for now. So and I'll, I can show this to you in class what the applications are for. But like, and there's a, it starts to build the silk reeling energy. All this stuff starts to build a, uh, in its own way, uh, Chan Tzu Jing, uh, silk reeling energy, the smoothness, the cocooning of the Jin, the Jing. Like a, and it, it starts to build a kind of consciousness in the mind of smooth, steady, even, present throughout the body. And then the mind starts to match up and synchronize with the body so that you have this Chan Tzu Jing. Okay, so from the front, it's like this. This one is off 45. All these bow and arrow stances, the front foot is front forward. Hips are front forward. And this is a little bit off, off like that. So it's kind of spread. The Dantian can sink into the feet. Shoulders, upper body is uh, nice and relaxed. Spine is upright. Crown suspended from above. Tailbones sit it down to the floor. So you have this third leg in the back. Kind of maybe like a tripod, basically. It's going to feel like a tripod. And elbow sunk with this uh, hip um, a little bit. And you've got this um, here and then here. So this is your single whip posture. And uh, there are two, I think two postures that says that, uh, saying that uh, Yang Chen Fu liked to practice every day and just kind of sit and do the standing fire element method. So uh, single whip is um, his special version. Um, and uh, raise hands. So we're gonna do one more posture. So we're going to sink into the front leg. And we're gonna pump off that front leg, we're carrying a spear, and we're gonna compress into the Dantian. And then we're gonna, this is our raise hands. And you'll recognize this from uh, doing the standing posture of single um, uh, raise hands in the single leg posture. And uh, you guys internally swearing at me for making me do this. Okay, so. Uh, in the class has to try to do it for five minutes on a timer and they, they legs are burning and mind is burning and um, it's really good because you learn how to let go learn to learn to let go of all the pain and the uh, mental fabrications that are binding and holding us uh, in stress uh, so learn how to let go so so one more time we're so we're here step out Really rewind and work on this and see what's going on. I'll come to class. So, okay, and here's a single whip. Settle into the front leg, pump up. Boom, here's your raise hands. Melt into the back leg. Okay, so that's it. That's it for now. So, um, love to see you in class. I'd love to see you have worked on this and really got it. And we can do some pressure testing to see if the hydraulics are sunk to the root correctly, or if there's deficiencies like and breaking in alignment. This breaking in alignment, this uh, these deficiencies where the pung is not full or something, um, can easily be tested. And I can we can say, ah, you need to be more aware inside of here. And these what they call gin lines, lines of power that are broken or not full. Um, it's a constant process. Like a teacher, a good teacher. Like if my teacher, when I, when I go, it's like, oh, 
you're not, not correct here. You need to, to do more work here. It's a constant process. So there's always more to work on. Okay, practice well and be safe. Thank you.